we are talking about the vegetative stage. And here basically uh, we are going to look at the nutrition. Uh, before nutrition here we are talking about uh, 21 days to 30 days. That is uh, the, the, uh, the vegetative stage. And here we are going to look at the nutrition. Then we are going to look at the pests. We look at diseases. Uh, we are also going to look at uh, watering and also weeding. So those are the aspects that you are going to look. But basically, in the vegetative stage, what usually happens here is uh, the plant has already established in the first 21 days. Uh, but now in the vegetative stage, now uh, here we find uh, it is now uh, uh, growing a lot of vegetative. It is growing a lot of leaves. It is even branching. And also it is growing the stem. Because when you look at uh, a spinach crop, if this is a ground, uh, we have the roots here, and then we have now uh, the spinach crop there. Uh, that, that, that is a stem, and now from there we have the various branches. Uh, not the branches, but basically the, the leaves that are coming up from the stem. And uh, uh, it is very important here because the thickness of the stem is very important so that it's able to... Uh, keep the food reserves and also be able to uh, provide for the various leaves, leaves that uh, are emerging. And therefore in this stage, it is a rapid expansion of the leaves because this, these are the leaves that uh, usually produce the food. And once they produce the food, they, uh, the food is stored, stored in the stem area. And of course, once the, the, the leaves mature, they are the ones that are going to be harvested. Because in the spinach crop, what you harvest are the leaves. Uh, it is a, a, veget it, a vegetable and therefore the, the, the crop here we are harvesting is the vegetation. And therefore once in the vegetative stage, uh, the most important aspect here is uh, the, the, the leaves to be very green so that they are able to trap light, produce food or synthesize food using photosynthesis and that food is stored either in the leaves and uh, some the extra stored in the stem and therefore when that that is done uh, in this stage we have various aspects as i've listed them that are very important and here in terms of nutrition we are looking at uh, nitrogen or n we are looking at nitrogen because nitrogen is a nutrient that is needed uh, for the green pigment for establishment of the nutrient and therefore, that is the nutrient that is most required by this crop. And here we are looking at the ground application. And ground application, we are looking at ground application of nitrogenous, uh, nitrogenous fertilizer. And here, uh, nitrogenous fertilizer is fertilizer that is rich in nitrogen. And the fertilizer that is rich in nitrogen, uh, the amount to use will depend on the soil test that was done. Uh, that... Uh, um, they advise on uh, the type of nitrogenous fertilizer to use, either it is urea, CAN, or the rest. And then uh, we also have uh, the other aspect of uh, how much to apply per acre, which fertilizer to apply and how much to apply per acre. So that would be very important. But of course, we also have the other foliar fertilizers, and the foliar fertilizers we shall call vegetative. We shall call it vegetative foliars. So vegetative foliars. When you go to agro shops, you're going to find this vegetative foliar feed so that when you are, when you are doing your 7 to 14 days uh, spray using a, a fertilizer, a pesticide, and a, I mean a, an insecticide and a fungicide, then you are going to include it there, a nitrogenous fertilizer. And that is going to give uh, the green pigment that is required for uh, vegetativeness, uh, vegetative establishment of the spinach crop. And uh, here you are going to find uh, that uh, the... Spinach crop here is, is quite, uh, uh, I can say, is uh, the leaves are soft uh, and uh, they may not be desirable for, for, the, for consumption at the moment because they are very succulent. And therefore at this stage, you might find because of the succulent, of, uh, they are very succulent, then they are prone to attack to pests and diseases. And we are going to, going to look at that next. And when you're looking at, here at the pest, the same pest that uh, I talked about in the starting stage, uh, that is uh, 
uh, the, the bollworms and also the leaf miner. These mostly are the most critical or most important pests that usually attack the spinach crop. And therefore, uh, for the bollworm, we talked about uh, the lambda cyhalothrin. For the leaf miner, we talked about the abamectin or the mamectin benzoid. Those are the key crop, uh, key active ingredients that are, are usually, usually used here. And since the, uh, the crop here, the leaves is a bit bigger and uh, the leaves are succulent, they are soft, then uh, this stage is prone to attack by these pests. And uh, when you are looking at uh, the leaf, you may find that uh, these leaf miners, they may create lines, uh, they may cre create lines uh, uh, in, inside the leaf, and then they may even attack uh, the midrib of the leaf. And once they attack the midrib of the leaf, you may find that uh, this particular leaf may start rotting, so that even before uh, this leaf goes into the maturity stage and even the harvest stage, you're going to find it may start rotting. And therefore, it is very important to control those aspects using the, uh, the product that are uh, active ingredients that have been advised. Of course, the other aspect are the diseases. And in terms of the diseases, the same diseases that uh, I mentioned during the starting stage are the same diseases that are important here. And uh, the same chemicals that are applied are the same that are applied here. And therefore, uh, the same aspect of uh, 7 to 14 days, depending on how the weather is, is very important. Scouting is also very important because uh, the leaves are bigger and therefore bigger area for attack by diseases. And therefore, it is very important to, uh, to look at those aspects. Of course, here, nematodes are not there since you have already controlled the nematode during the starting stage. Uh, and also, the, the root rot, since you had uh, already controlled during the, the starting stage, then they, they are not important here. But... Uh, the, the, the leaf spots and also the fungal uh, blight are the ones that are very important in this uh, stage and therefore controlling them with the same product that I mentioned, very important. Watering here is very critical and here we are looking at watering if maybe it's not raining or maybe the water is not sufficient, we are looking at watering on uh, maybe twice a week uh, so that the spinach crop can, come, uh, can have enough water because the leaves are succulent and therefore since the leaves are succulent it is very important for them to uh, get all the water it needs so that they can continue expanding and they can continue growing and therefore uh, it's not advisable to limit the water the water should uh, be limited if it's raining and it's raining very well then that is okay if it's not raining you will have to do irrigation twice a week maybe monday thursday uh, will be a desirable day to do the watering and here we are also looking at the other aspect, which is uh, weeding. Uh, weeding here should be manual, manual weeding. Uh, you go in maybe with uh, something like uh, a sharp implement, maybe a panga. Yeah, a sharp implement like that, a panga. So that uh, if maybe they are uh, big, uh, smaller or bigger um, weeds, you are able to uproot them using this or maybe you can use a, even a fork. Uh, we have small forks that you can be able to do the manual weeding without affecting the spinach crop. And therefore once, once that is done, uh, once weeding is done, uh, this aspect by the time uh, this uh, period ends, you are going to find the spinach will be big and they are going even to cover and uh, be able to control the weeds by themselves. But basically, what is usually done, um, uh, weeding has to be done according, also weeding will depend also on the rains. If maybe there's a lot of rains, then weeds are going to germinate very quickly. And therefore, once the, the, the germination continues and uh, uh, there is need to control the weeds, then that should be done on, the, on a regular interval.